aluminum has these utopian qualities. The fact that you can take something, reuse it, reuse it, and it still performs the same, it still looks the same. It really does feel like a material of the future. My name is Rachel Griffin. I'm a product furniture and lighting designer. We're here at the Material Matters exhibition at the London Design Festival, where Hydro is showing the work of different designers. All of the products in this exhibition are produced using Hydro Circa 100R. Circa 100R aluminum is revolutionary. The first industrial scale aluminum that's produced entirely from post-consumer scrap infinitely recyclable without diminishing any of its mechanical properties. You can extrude with it, you can mill it, you can cast it, you can do all these different things with it. The extrusion process is basically taking a heated billet, which is a giant massive cylinder of aluminum, heating it up and then forcing it through a die in the desired shape. It's rolled out over long conveyor belts and then pulled as it's cooled. You can compare it to like a Play-Doh fun factory. The pieces of Max and Shane and Inga are all kind of playful in a way. They really do a lot with shape and form. The chair of John obviously is amazing for how much it gets out of one shape. The shelves of Philippe are very interesting in the way that they play with this sort of common fixture already exists in the world, but he's sort of shaped that into a more robust piece. The coat rack from Andreas is really amazing also for the way that it takes these two different profiles and creates a really sort of gravity-based fixture. The product that I created for the exhibition is called Serial. A partition or room divider, it's made up of one single extrusion profile, which is just repeated over and over again. The design of the profile has an interlocking hinge. What that means is that the parts can be interlocked together, basically forever, to make partitions or screens as long as you want. Once all of those pieces are strung together in a chain, they can be arranged in these sort of organic waves which are self-supporting. And they use the reflective qualities of the aluminum to best advantage. It was really a joy to work on this exhibition. You learn so much by being involved with the manufacturing. The energy use and the overall footprint are just much lower, making it a really ideal material. It makes the future sort of limitless.